me and the boy went and got pedicures. It was cute. We're adorable. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Welcome to my vlog and my new Starbucks cup. <laughs> I actually got this when I was in Dallas. I just got back from Dallas. I didn't vlog while I was there, but let me catch you up on what happened. Me and the boy went and got pedicures. It was cute. We're adorable. We went to Cineholic. They have like cinnamon rolls and different icings. So he got like peanut butter with Oreos, um, brownies, and caramel sauce and graham cracker. I got lemon icing with raspberry jam, fresh raspberries, and toasted coconut. He scarfed it down, loved his cinnamon roll, wanted a second one, then I said, they're all vegan, because he didn't know. They don't like list that they're vegan there, and he's like, man, that was the best brownie ever. <laughs> I had no clue that any of this was vegan. So um, we went to Cineholic, it was really good, and we went and saw Shiz Sam, which I accidentally keep calling Shabam because that's a dance workout that I really like and it's hard for my brain to like know if I'm supposed to say Shabam or Shazam, but we saw Shazam. It was cute. Um, it was a little bit different than a lot of the superhero movies we go to see. I don't know the difference, like DC, Marvel, something. I don't know. Um, but it was, it seemed like it was a little bit more targeted towards a younger audience because it was very cutesy, um, but it was good and now i'm home so i have no groceries i'm gonna go grocery shopping in just a little bit i know i didn't technically need another cup but when i was leaving dallas i was like oh man i need some caffeine so i went in and i had my my old starbucks cup it's black and it has like silver sequin um and i walk in and the girl gasps at the bar you know, the works, the, the barista at the espresso bar. Um, and she gasped and she's like, I love your cup. And then she looked over like to see if it was in the retail. She's like, do we have that cup? And they didn't because it was a holiday clearance thing that I got at Target and I actually got two of them, one for me and one for my sister. And they were like $5 or something for a Venti cup, which is unheard of. So I saw this cup and I really liked it. There was actually a couple other ones that I liked too, but they were the plastic ones. And this is the one that has the metal on the inside, so it stays colder a little bit longer. So I got this one. I got my water in this, and then I have another reusable Starbucks cup. Um, and I got my Ice Venti Matcha Lemonade, which is my drink of right now. And it's, it's really good. So I got that. And then when I was leaving, I gave her my other cup. I was like, here you go. You can have it. And she's like, oh my gosh, really? <laughs> um, she said something like, I work here. I can't. I was like, you can take it. It's fine. Just put a new straw in it. You can have it. You probably like it more than I do. Because I just bought it because it was on sale. I wasn't like in love with the cup, you know? So I gave her that cup and I got this new cup. So I like it. This is just... A supplement soda of course it is the watermelon mint black tea from Trader Joe's and I have yeah um is it this one yes it's the premium Jane CBD in citrus flavor in here and then some tin mushroom mix so a little bit of CBD some functional mushrooms and my black tea so I get some caffeine too I prefer to order CBD offline. Um, I do go to the co-op and I'll get like a CBD soda or um, like for a while I was buying like this kind of stuff. I just thought I'd give you a rundown on CBD since a lot of you guys have been asking about it. And I don't like the ones that you can typically get at the health food store. There are a few gems in there, but you really have to read the ingredients to see what you're looking for. So for example, I used to use this in smoothies. This has um, 12 milligrams of hemp oil, which for me does nothing. So if you've tried CBD and you look at the back and it says hemp oil, that might be why, because the actual CBD in here is just one milligram. So there's 12 milligrams of hemp oil, one milligram of CBD, which does nothing for me. So I'd have to put like 10, 15 pumps to get like any effectiveness out of this. And then you go through the bottle so fast and it's not the best tasting because the hemp oil is like this green sludge, not particularly appetizing. Um, some of them smell like straight up pot, which my boyfriend, you know, he likes that. 
I am not a fan. I don't really love the smell. So I prefer something like this. The first thing you notice is in half of a dropper, there's 7.5 milligrams of CBD. So I take two droppers and I'm fine. Like I have arthritis in my hip. It helps a ton with pain from that. Um, when the weather changes and stuff like that, it helps with inflammation for me. It does a ton of things, even a headache. I can take CBD and I feel better. So look at the difference. This is completely clear and it's like smell free, basically flavorless other than this um, citrus flavor in there and it's just so good. They just use MCT oil. This has some terpenes in it and since um, I think this is like a relax type of CBD um, so the terpenes are probably like Charlotte's Web or Harlequin or something like that. You can look into different um, terpenes to see what the effects are like some are targeted towards like anxiety and depression, some are for pain, some are for inflammation, like different kinds of terpenes, and this does have some terpenes in it. And then I have the gummies. There's 4.5 grams per gummy. There are 30 gummies in here, and each gummy has 25 milligrams, which is a good amount of CBD. Like you can take two of them and have 50 milligrams of CBD and you will definitely notice the effects. It's just really healing. It's a great supplement to just work into your day. But I'm getting ready to do a little bit of shopping because I have no food left after I went to Dallas. I was gonna go to Trader Joe's, but I really am craving enoki mushrooms. I love enoki mushrooms. It has like, they're addicting addicting so i'm gonna go to the asian market and i don't really want to make more than one grocery store trip so i might do all of my produce there i'm and i feel like i have enough condiments and stuff here to make it like work i have quinoa here and that kind of thing so yeah i'm gonna take my cuppy on the go and oh I, I still have an a robe what am i talking about i'm gonna get dressed and then we're gonna go i'm actually gonna take one cbd gummy um because i'm a really anxious driver <laughs> super anxious driver i like white knuckle the steering wheel the whole time i'm driving so this helps I take a little guy Mm. So I hauled this dress in an A Beautiful Soul haul and I really love it. It was too tight on my chest at the time but now it fits really well and maybe it's because I'm not wearing a bra. I think that that's probably why but it's just a really pretty dress but it's lightweight because this is just mesh and the dress actually stops here so it's like really nice. I'm probably <laughs> I'm gonna trash it up a little bit by wearing my Birkenstocks <laughs> but overall I just really love the look of this dress they had it in another color but I haven't seen it at the store so I might go on Poshmark and see if I can find it I do that a lot with like dresses that I love that I want to see if there's wow <laughs> another one of it I'll go on Poshmark to see if anyone's selling their old one so just a little Poshmark tip, but yeah, this is what I'm wearing to go Shopping I'm gonna walk around just like this at the grocery store. No, I'm not I might you know, you never know with me got my keys Gotta get my my bags my reusable bags and go About to leave Already packing come with me. I'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know all right that was a successful trip i feel like i got enough stuff i didn't impulse buy too much we'll see when you get home and i do the haul but look how glowy delicious i look some people this is too oily for but i'm okay with it i am so hungry and this company sent me something to try so I think I'm going to try it when I get home. I was going to save it for this taste test video that I'm doing with some new vegan products, but I think I'm just going to try them now. Okay, so I just got back from the Asian market. You're a smidge lower than you usually are. Um, but anyhow, 
because I'm balancing it on protein powder because I'm a real professional here. Um, but I just got back from the Asian market. I started to unpackage things and I was like, ooh, I need to do a haul. So it's pretty simple this week, but I'll go ahead and show you. I got some green onions. I like to store these in water and I do store them in the fridge. Um, and then eventually I move them out of the fridge once I've cut them down enough to regrow. I have some green onions. Here they are. These are the ones that I've been regrowing for a while. I've cut these down probably four or five times, um, but I can tell that I'm getting to the point that <laughs> the roots are so long that I don't know if I can continue to grow them in a glass. So I got another bunch, and these were three for a dollar. I only got one, so it wasn't very expensive at all, but we'll just put those there. <laughs> these ones are so wild, I love them. And then I also got some mint because Oh, it smells so good. It's really good in green juices to like brighten up your green juice. I've been using the Organifi green juice and then I blend a cucumber into it and then I put a handful of mint. So good. I also put matcha in it because the Organifi green juice already has matcha. So I'll add a little bit more matcha, but that's been my jam lately and it's really, really good. I also got two eggplants. Um, these are the Chinese eggplants. They had, you know, the Italian, American, Chinese, and Japanese. So I got the Chinese eggplants because I really, really love them. Just in the air fryer with some oil, some salt and pepper, a little bit of soy sauce, and like some ponzu or something. They're just really good. Two sweet potatoes, which are huge. Um, these are actually white sweet potatoes, I believe. They were on sale. They were 99 cents per pound, which I usually like to get mine at Trader Joe's because the Trader Joe's ones are so good and creamy and delicious. But I didn't want to go to more than one store. Some of my mint fell off. I was getting ready to eat that. I'll eat it later. <laughs> I got some kimchi and it's hard to get kimchi at the Asian market. I usually get mine from a place called Hippies. But she hasn't brought any down, any me, any down for a while because she's been sick. So the only one that I can ever get at an Asian market is, it's not always this brand, but it will say no MSG. And usually the only MSG that's in kimchi is the shrimp or dried shrimp powder that they put in it. So this one is Chinese cabbage, radish, garlic, ginger, onion, green onion chili water salt asian pear powder um sorry red pepper powder asian pear and then all organic sugar so this one is vegan so if you find one that says no msg it's likely vegan at the asian market then i got these new mushrooms that i've never had before and i'm really excited about them they're called seafood mushroom look at them aren't those cool yeah so they kind of look like enoki mushrooms but they're just a little bit thicker you know and then these were a dollar 49 each i believe and then i got enoki mushrooms i love enokis they're so good and i got three packages usually they're two for a dollar this week they were three for a dollar but i didn't get six because i didn't think i could eat six along with the seafood mushrooms without something going bad. So I got three of those, and then I also got two king oyster mushrooms. Look at these guys. I think I'm gonna do the whole scallop thing with these. You guys know vegan scallops, so I think I'll do that. And then I guess this is a pound. It comes pre-packaged, um, and it, it they sell it by the pound, so I'm guessing it's around a pound of Chinese broccoli, which it's technically Chinese broccoli tops. So it's like the green, and then it does have a little bit of baby broccoli in there, but like very little. It's mostly just the green tops. I love getting these um, stir fried with soy sauce and red pepper at one of my favorite Asian places. So I thought that maybe I'd give it a go at home since they had them. I also, okay. We're just gonna leave that there for now. I got some snow peas and some jalapenos. It says jalapeno, parentheses, Mexican pepper. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Um, I was gonna try some other peppers, but I wasn't sure if they were gonna be spicy or not, so I just got some jalapenos. I also got 
three lemons. Um, I like to squeeze lemon into my green juice in the morning and all of my different cocktails. Oh, so I have this one supplement. It's called Pure, and it has, um, hey, you okay? What'd you, what happened? You okay over there? You all right? Nicole yelped for some reason. Huh? You all right, baby? She seems okay. I got two avocados because they were two for 99 cents, which is a really good deal on avocados. Um, totally lost my train of thought when I heard Nicole yelp. Okay, she seems fine. She's going to get in her bed. I bet that her nail got stuck on the blanket that's over there. So, because it's like a crochet blanket, I think her nail probably got stuck. Because she went and got in her bed. Um, I got some of these little mini peppers. I love these. And then, is this the last thing? Yes. Yeah. The last thing I got was some sweet potato noodles. They're gluten free, they're delicious. I usually get these at my favorite. Um, it's like a health food restaurant. It's called Nancy Sky Garden. It was originally in Georgetown. Now they've opened a couple of other locations. One's technically in Austin, but it's Cedar Park. And then <laughs> there's one in Round Rock. And I think maybe one somewhere near the east side. But I got the purple sweet potato starch noodles. And I thought that these would be really yummy just like with some of my veggies. Um, I'll still need to go get some like romaine and some stuff like that. But overall, I have like enough things for meals. So I thought that these would be really good. And if you've had kelp noodles the correct way, not kelp noodles that are still crunchy. Like if you've done the baking soda and... Um, lemon trick with kelp noodles they taste similar to sweet potato noodles and also um kelp noodles are like 6.99 for like a small pack or like 4.99 5.99 whatever they're expensive they have like a, this size pack of kelp noodles at the asian market for 3.99 like so much more affordable. But anyhow this is basically my food for the week and I think I'm gonna make a green juice really quick actually because I didn't get any cucumber though maybe I'll run to Whole Foods and get a couple of cucumbers um what's I can tell you I can't remember I don't know oh that they have this thing called Chinese okra and I love regular okra so I think next time I go I'm gonna get the Chinese okra it was a bit intimidating so I didn't have time to like research how I would cook it if I bought it. It was like this long and it looked like it kind of had like piping around it and then it had divots around the piping and it was just like a very intimidating looking vegetable. <laughs> but if I can figure out how to cook it, I will eat it. So yeah, anyhow, these are $1.38, $1.88, $1.94. So I spent $38 total, and that doesn't include some sushi that I got, which was $5.99. So just under, uh, just over $30 for everything. So pretty good deal. <sighs> I'm just hydrating, and I don't know if I showed you this. I moved the chaise to the other side, and then I moved my desk against the window. That was right before I went to Dallas, so I probably didn't show you. So that's where I was sitting earlier when I was talking to you, because usually I sit on the floor in front of the window, but I'm, I was sitting at my desk because I moved it, which is also why you can see like that stuff now, but anyhow, yeah, moved it. So, where's my head? I got a package in the mail, and it says, welcome to the simulation, Nug. To complete your installation, put your nugs in the freezer. So there's a new company. They make vegan chicken nuggets. They're called Nugs. I'm gonna put some in the air fryer really quick. This air fryer, um, if you guys don't already have one, this is from New Air. It's the same place I got my old air fryer that's at my parents' house. It's by Magic Chef, 3.7 quarts. I really like it. I make toast in it. I make veggies in it. It doesn't heat up your house. It's like an easy bake oven for grownups. So yeah. Also, if you don't know what an air fryer is, you don't actually put oil in it. It makes your stuff crispy 
without oil. So you can just spritz it a little bit and it's dishwasher safe, which is the selling, the best selling point for me. But I'm gonna make some nugs. I'm so excited and don't be chicken. <laughs> ah, I love it. Okay, preheat oven to 350, place nugs evenly on baking sheet, transfer to oven and bake for 10 minutes. Internal temp must reach 165. I'm not gonna do the oven, I'm just gonna put them in my air fryer. Um, yeah, five pieces is a serving, about seven servings per container. 180 calories, 13 grams of carb, one carbs, carbohydrates. <laughs> one gram of dietary fiber, zero sugar, 22 grams of protein, hell yes. Um, and yeah, they're gonna be coming out in stores soon, I hopefully, but you can order on eatnugs.com. So let's open them and see what they look like. Oh my gosh, they look like McDonald's chicken nuggets, but without any of the cruelty. How cool is this? So let's just put some in my air fryer really quick. I think I'm just gonna do what does it say? The five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. And then put the rest of my nugs back in the freezer. I'm just gonna spread them out evenly in my fryer basket. So I forgot, if you don't have an air fryer already, I'm not sponsored, but they did give me a discount code. It's Eden Nicolette 20 for 20% off of um, this air fryer. So my old one had like the knobby. This one doesn't have a knob. So 370, I'm gonna turn it down to 350. And I'm gonna put it on eight minutes and then just check on it. All right, cool. So just gonna, Wait here for my nugs, I guess. Chicken nugget cam. <laughs> this is what our nugs look like. So crispy on the outside. They ended up cooking for five minutes. I'm here. I'm ready to taste my nug. Oh. You hear that crunch? They're pretty good. They kind of, this is what it looks like on the inside. So that looks like on the inside. They're pretty good. They have a good flavor to them. Hmm. Interesting. There's a taste to them. They're very savory. They have a very savory taste. The inside isn't like chicken texture. It's a bit softer, it's not super dense. You can tell it's soy, but it's good. These are good. Good job, Nugs. They're so cute too. I feel like kids would love these. And I'm also a big kid, so explains why I like them. They're so crunchy. The crunch factor is there. Taste is very good. Very savory. The inside, it's like, it's soft, you know? But I think they're worth a try. Especially if you have kiddos and they wanna have like chicken nuggets, definitely good. Ton of protein, not a health food, but a ton of protein. <laughs> we have a few more things to make today. So 
let's get into that. I figured I would show you guys how I make my coconut yogurt. So, I'm gonna go ahead and make a big batch. Sometimes I make it like half the size of this. And the only reason I'm showing you is because I accidentally ate all of my last yogurt. <laughs> and you're supposed to reserve a few spoonfuls to continue making your batches. So since I had to start over, I thought it would be the perfect time to show you since hopefully I won't have to start over for a really long time. So you need two things of coconut milk. I like actually coconut cream. The recipe or the person I got this recipe from, Robin Euclid, used the coconut cream. So I've been using the cream lately instead of the milk and it's so much fluffier in the end. So I'm just gonna use two cans of coconut cream and just put them into a mason jar, a clean mason jar. And I've tried like yogurt starters and all this stuff and some of them work, some of them don't work on non-dairy stuff, which is kind of a pain in the butt. And then I was using the Minimalist Baker recipe, which I heard she's not vegan anymore, um, which I don't care, but people get mad when I promote non-vegan stuff sometimes. So just to, if you don't like to support non-vegans, um, used probiotic pills, which is fine, but it gets really expensive, like almost to the point of buying regular coconut yogurt. Maybe it's a little bit cheaper, but not as cheap as this. So two cans of coconut cream go into your mason jar and then buy a coconut yogurt. So I've used Kalina and I've used Cocoyo. Those are the two kinds that I've used. I prefer the Cocoyo. This is $5.99. It's pretty expensive, but it's a one-time investment because once you have a starter, you don't have to do it ever again. This is probably boring if some of you guys aren't interested in probiotics at all. And the recipe calls for one spoonful. It can be a teaspoon or a tablespoon. Doesn't really matter. I just use a tablespoon per can. So I'm going to take one spoon and then get some from the bottom two spoons so sour so good and then put your mason jar lid on now this has a one day ferment time so that means the time that it's outside of the refrigerator so i'm gonna put this into a cold dark place i put it in my cabinet with my cups and i'm just gonna put a towel under it so let's go do that really quick and just move some dishes out of the way to do this and then pop this in on top of the towel because sometimes it can leak out just a little bit and don't tighten it super tight you know just just enough so that it's closed and put it on the towel Nicole smells the chicken nuggets so she's excited so the rest of this yogurt you can just eat it $5.99 once I know it's expensive but to start yogurt it's not um, so that stays in the cabinet for 24 hours don't leave it longer than that I tried that it doesn't help so tomorrow I'll take it out at this time and then it goes into the fridge for three days three full days before you open it before you touch it before you do anything and when you take it out you might be like I don't think this worked because you'll see like liquid at the bottom and it might look a little bit separated but that's totally fine it's just like the liquid and the fat separating it's completely fine then I dump it into my blender and I whip it um into the texture i want like if you want it to be like a more creamy yogurt you don't need to whip it just pour it into a bowl and stir it up really well and then put it back into your container i put it in my blender whip it for a little bit you can add stevia drops you can i wouldn't suggest adding fruit to it i would do fruit just into the part that you're going to eat that day but once you whip it up um and it's like recombined and everything put it back into a mason jar and put it in the fridge and it lasts up to eight months in the refrigerator i've never left it that long but the recipe says it lasts up to eight months and it wasn't a typo it's eight months so what you do you just eat it like normal if you're sensitive to probiotics if you haven't eaten a lot of probiotics just eat a little bit at a time because there are live cultures in it so you don't want to have the poops you know but 
When you run out of yogurt and you want to make a new batch, do the same thing. Get two new things of coconut cream and then just put two spoonfuls of the yogurt you already made into it. So whatever current yogurt you have will always be your starter now. So you'll just use the one that you did for the three days that you've been eating on, put that into your new container and it just goes on and on and on and it's perfect. So that's how I've been making my yogurt now and I haven't had, other than like when I taste that stuff for the channel, like my day to day, I only eat yogurt that I've made and I haven't bought one of these for probably, I don't know, months, months, months to restart it. So yeah. It's pretty awesome. I mean, it is $5.99, but it's less expensive than a jar of probiotics. If you've tried making the minimalist baker one, um, it's less expensive than that even. So that's how I make my yogurt. It's super simple. Now I'm gonna have this. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it. I don't really have any fruit. Maybe, ooh, maybe I'll put it in a smoothie. I'll put it in a smoothie tomorrow. So yeah, that's how you make coconut yogurt super easy I'm just gonna make one of these Organifi green juices you don't have to use this brand you can use like amazing grass I used to use amazing grass but I like this one because it has matcha in it so it gives me some energy because I need a bit of a pick-me-up and it has mint and it has some mushrooms in it too so you guys know I like all those things so I like this one but you don't have to use this one this is just one of my favorite like little juices about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for <sighs> so good oh my gosh that's delicious <laughs> but um i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog because I feel like there's a lot in it <laughs> like I'm like how many minutes is this gonna be when I start editing I'm like there was a haul there's a taste test there's a recipe there was a green juice <laughs> what else can I fit into this thing I am going to yoga later but you guys have seen that before but yeah oh I drank too fast. It all hit my stomach all at once. But I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, everyone that applied to work with me, I'm so thankful for you. You should have been reached out to by now. And we're going over all of the applications. So I'm super excited and super thankful for you taking your time and updating your resumes and crafting such thoughtful emails. Even though I didn't personally respond, I read every single one of them and i really really appreciate you guys all of your kind words all of your encouragement and thank you for like helping me grow this community it's it's all of us together you know so i'm really thankful and i hope you guys know that <laughs> um follow me on instagram if you don't already i'm at eden jacks and my second podcast garden of eden podcast is coming back in three weeks with a new co-host so i have an amazing co-host you guys are gonna love her just as much as you love joelle over on the chub club so i have two podcasts going a life rooted coaching rooted yoga and this youtube channel <laughs> so yeah i'm super excited and i'm working with a yoga company here hopefully it feels like i'm there um to help expand something that they specialize in so i will be doing some consulting soon as well um about something that i'm really passionate about so i'm just feeling really thankful and blessed i'm moving again <laughs> um but I'm just feeling really thankful and blessed and I hope that you guys take time to appreciate the good things that are happening in your life no matter how big or small as well. But I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching and until next time, remember to keep an open mind, keep an open heart, practice unconditional compassion, but don't take shit from anyone. I love you guys endlessly and I hope you love yourselves even more. I'll talk to you really soon. <laughs> Bye. Eggplant, jalapenos, some mushrooms. Some sweet potato noodles. I'm just gonna put some water and then I'm gonna do the snow peas separately because I don't want them to get too soft. And that'll be dinner.
veggies, noodles, snow peas, and then I'm just gonna heat up some sauce and put it on there. I'm also gonna have some of this yuzu sauce on it, yuzu hot sauce, oh yeah. 